Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Arxpines TV. I'm Lindsay Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, April 11, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your fabulous weekend. Now let's take a relaxing brain break to start off this amazing week. For today's brain break and SEL technique, we'll be showing you a little skit representing collaboration. Okay, class, I have sent you guys some work in the workbook. You can work with a partner next to you if you want to. Hey, do you want to work together? Sure. Okay, well, I'll do questions 1 through 5, and you'll do questions 6 through 10, and we'll review afterwards. Yeah, totally. <laughs> hey, are you going to work on your questions? Yes. Okay. Five minutes later. Okay, I'm done. Oh, sorry. Can you do mine? But we agreed to work together, and if I do the work, then there's no point in working together. Can you just do it? I'm busy. Fine. As you can see, Angeli and Aiden both agreed to work together, but Aiden doesn't want to do any of the work and rather just have Angeli do all the work. Especially since they agreed to work together, they should both contribute to the completion of the assignment. This is not a good example of collaboration. And by the way, collaboration means to work together collectively with other people to accomplish something. So, let's see if Aiden can be a better collaborator. Okay class, I assign you some work to do in your workbooks. You can work with the person next to you if you want. Hey, do you want to work together? Sure. Okay. I'll do questions 1 through 5, and you'll do questions 6 to 10, and we can review each other's work. Okay, sounds good. Five minutes later. Okay, I'm done. Alright, I just finished. Okay, let's review each other's work. It seems like you got everything right. Same with you. Okay, we're done. Now let's turn in our work. As we can see, the second time around, Angeli and Aiden both agreed to work with each other and equally split the work between them. This is a great example of collaboration. Just as a reminder, collaboration means to work with people collectively to accomplish something. So, see you next time for our next Brain Break and SEL Technique. Now let's go to word of the day. Hey David, did you end up getting that shirt that you wanted? No, I didn't get it because when I got there, they only had scarce amounts. Oh, so they only had a few? Yeah, and I really wanted that shirt. Well, I knew they had scarce amounts, so I got you one. Whoa, thanks. You're the best. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on word of the day. day. What a cool word. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks Valencia. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today's edition is about the table tennis racket. An English man by the name of David Foster invented the game of table tennis. The first racket, officially called a paddle, was made of a thin wood carved in a fun round shape. It was covered on both sides with a dimpled rubber sponge. This fun tool has changed several times over the years. For example, the handle was longer and is now very short. 
With people enjoying this awesome sport and thinking of ways to make it even better, table tennis will continue to be a popular sport for quite a while. Let's make some racket for this racket. Now let's see what's cooking with Sonia. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is chicken dunkers, parmesan marinara sauce, bread steak, baked beans, applesauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teacher know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bye, Let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Sonia. That sounds delicious. Scholars, NWEA testing is coming up again. Tomorrow, 3rd to 5th graders have their reading NWA. Good luck, Patriots. Your books are on sale now. Get yours by today. The price is just $35. Your books are only sold on myschoolbooks.com. Get yours now so you can laugh at how funny you look 10 years from now. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Sports fans, tomorrow both our boys baseball team and our girls flag football team have a game. The game starts at 4 p.m. and they're both going against Cooper City. Let's go Patriots! Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you Valencia. Hey Patriots. Today will be a calming 82 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today is a good day to take a nap. Another weather news. A cargo ship got stuck on the Chesapeake Bay. The Evergreen ship got stuck midway through March and is now being released. The reason the cargo ship got stuck is because of the erosion of mud being deposited in the sea, causing the ship to plug and stop motion. Five tugboats attempted to free the boat. So far, it looks like it's going well. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, Randy. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Hey, Chanel, do you have a pet? No, but I wish I did. Well, since today is National Pet Day, maybe I'll see a little ball of cuteness at the pet store or while I'm walking down the street. Maybe I'll get to walk my neighbor's dog. Hey, Destiny, have you heard about this funny trend on TikTok? What trend? It's this funny dance called My Name is Cheeky. I did a little research, and it's based on a little kid's song. This trend has to be the best one yet. It sure makes me laugh out loud. The Grammys were a hit. It included performances by BTS, Billie Eilish, Olivia Rodrigo, Jack Harlow, and so much more. The real winner of the Grammys was John Batiste with five trophies. Well, speaking of the Grammys, Olivia Rodrigo still laughs at this moment. While she was backstage getting praised for being the best new artist, she dropped her Grammy. What? That happened? Well, that's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Aiden for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boy and girl are Camila Cominaris and Adam Robinson. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Aiden, and I wish you a happy birthday, Patriots. Scholars, hear your pod's expectations. They are present. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools that aren't respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Stone, Miss Shadid, Miss Newton, Miss Sheriff, Miss Onley, Miss Chang, and Miss Ayan Dinkwa. You all got the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, which animal can be seen on the Porsche logo? The correct answer is a horse. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What is the rarest m M&M color? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesnotrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!